So, you ready? In demand at Tea in the Park 2009. Romeo. This is In Demand. Welcome to the In Demand podcast coming at you from Teen the Park 2009. I'm Romeo and all weekend I've been here at Scotland's biggest music festival soaking up the atmosphere, the vibe and chatting to the big names that have been playing across the weekend. And we're going to look back across the weekend and give you our best bits on this special podcast. We're going to start off with Friday when we arrived. We drove up, a bee attacked us in the car and uh, that was not the, not the best thing for me. You can check out the video which is also online. So we got here, unpacked the car, set up the studio and we first of all spoke to the boys from Franz Ferdinand who are going to be touring with Green Day and this is what they had to say. Hiya. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Great. <laughs> Fantastic. You sound, you sound th- so enthusiastic this yeah, time. Totally, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah, great to be back at Tea in the Park. You know, it's a local festival, even though we, you know, we play all over the world, but this time we get to go back to our own beds tonight. And, but, and you last know, night as well. And well it took night, us only yeah. an hour to get here once we finally picked everybody up and left Glasgow. Yeah. We were on the site, yeah. it was great. We're about to playing later, which is great afterwards. We get to go and watch them. Um, Kings of Leon are on stage, reliably good bands. You know, we bumped into them a lot this summer and going you know, to get to watch a bit of them as well. Yeah, it's just a good day. You've been a busy, uh, busy bunch of boys out touring, and you've got Green, Green Day. Day in August. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you know that as well? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're really looking forward to that. They just they like the way they asked us that just through a mutual friend, and um, which is better than being asked through like um, be, uh, agents, uh, agents and that kind of boring stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it'd be good. They're, they're playing some like big venues in America, and we want to play for thirty-five minutes a night, which is great because then we get to when they're on stage, we go and tan their rider. <laughs> that, that, that's that's the bonus of it at the end of the day. Yeah. And uh, any any sort of plans to beat the O2 to fill those to fill those gaps? Oh yeah, possibly. Yeah, we're just waiting for the call though. <laughs> I played there once before, but I'd really like to play fifty nights in a row. Yeah. Could you handle that? Just just to Michael Jackson fans, though. Yeah. <laughs> just to really get a feel for the place. You know? <laughs> Last time you came into the station, I didn't actually know this until you left, but you came in a in a black hackney. How did you get? Was it the same mode of transport to get here to tea? Uh, yeah, we take black hackneys everywhere we go. Yeah, it, what I thought it was the, back of the tour bus. A little van, a little door opens and one just rolls out. It's the look of the world. So do you, you've not been choppered in today, then? No, no, that would be that would be crazy. Did Franz Ferdinand get that treatment wherever you go in the world? Do you have to get choppers anywhere? No, we've never been. We only we got we went in a helicopter once, but I refused to get in it. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? I was scared. Oh, <laughs> so you, there's no chance you're going up in the big wheel then. Uh, no, I quite like them. They don't go too fast or anything like that. They're, they're, not they're attached to the ground. Yeah, exactly. That's a very good point. Good fall over. Anyway, we won't give any horror stories. Listen, guys, thanks for chatting to us. Thank you. Thank you. And when the boys were here chatting to us, after that chat, we asked them to sign our in-demand signboard. They didn't sign it. They defaced it. Bob from Franz Ferdinand wrote his name in, like, three-year-old writing, as if it was a three-year-old that wrote it, but put it all over the board and pretty much used up all the space. And artists who came to sign it afterwards had to, like, pick letters out of Bob and sign within it. That's how much space they took up. And uh, also chatting to us on Friday, we caught up with Pete from The View, who told us about a charity football match with uh, certain characters from a top E4 TV show. This is In Demand and we are hanging out in the artist area, the media village here at Balado. The sun is out and with me right now, Pete from The View. How you doing? No bad man, how are you? I'm very well. I see we have the beer in hand. I got, thought I would start early today. <laughs> You've just started? Well, I just got here man, give us a break. <laughs> Give it another, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's good man, we've just got started so... Why well, talk it easy? You can headline in the night, but pretty big deal. That's it. You've got to got to compose yourselves, and then after that, you'll uh, you'll go wild. Pretty much, yeah. We've heard some of the stories that go on here at Teen the Park when uh, when the view make an appearance. We're gonna have a a, rep- a a repetition of that, a repeat. Never, we're good boys now. <laughs> All right, okay. Turned over the leaf. You're gonna do like a Pete Doherty and change your name to Peter or something like. <laughs> No, we didn't go that far. Like, right. <laughs> now uh, I was reading that you guys were doing a little charity football match down in uh, down at Chelsea. Oh, yeah, it was it was really good actually. I got a bridge. At, I, I, got, I got a bridge. I got a goal at the bridge. Good. <laughs> um, uh, but weird. That was us and uh, the rest of the boys for the football factory were on our team, and um, <laughs> any of the boys for football factory got sent off against the in betweeners for 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 punching <laughs> for punching somebody. Is it? Yeah, just that was pretty mental. Like. Someone punching them between us. <laughs> Why was that? Because they looked they looked like geeks and they shouldn't have been there. It's better than punching a fish, is it? Right? <laughs> <laughs> punching a what? Have you not seen that on them between us when he punches the fish? It's I, hilarious. I just wanted you to say punching a fish. <laughs> 
punch a fish. I bet you didn't do that today. So after we spoke to Pete from The View, he had a couple of beers. Guess who sniffed out the beers? Yes, Kyle from The View miraculously appeared from nowhere, in fact, because he obviously heard that there was free beers on the go. So he bounced up and uh, said, is there any free beers on the go? So... Yes, we gave him a beer, but there was a catch to it. There's a question attached to our cans of Tenant's Lager, so there's a question on it. To get that beer, he had to tell us the answer to the question, and this is what Kyle said. You want to, you want to take a, a, a Tenant's can, don't you, Kyle? Yes, I do. That's the first thing you came when you appeared. You just appeared out of nowhere and you went, Hey, Ken, is uh, that... Uh, we've, no got, we've only got a Heineken, eh? No, it's, pure, it's a bit ironic, I mean, being at Tenant Park, can. <laughs> right, you've got, a, you've got a can there. Read the question. What was your best subject at school? It was music. Um, I, used to, I used to get ones for that, eh? Maybe it was just my talent, I'm not sure, eh? But that was my best subject, eh? Listen, Kyle, it's good to see you again. So, man, take care. <laughs> it's good to see you sober. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Some nice words there from Kyle about his music teacher. After we spoke to Kyle, it was time to head out. After we did the show live to the arena area, we went there to catch Kings of Leon on the main stage, who were amazing. Sex on fire. Honestly, if you could have been there to see the whole of Balado erupt and go wild, it was priceless. So after that then, it was back to the campsite for lots of campsite fun and games. And the next day, on Saturday, I got up after the neighbouring tent being very noisy because the guy snored like a pig. So that was it up early and I decided, right, I want some artwork on my body, I wanted a tattoo. So we found a tattoo tent within Teen the Park and it was a painful experience. Delivering the vibe. Teen the Park! Teen the Park! Although it's not just about the music all the time, it's about having fun and getting on the rides. So there I was on the ghost train with producer Andy. Oh boy, was I frightened. I'm Romeo, we're here on the Chadwick's Ghost Train at Tina Park. But just Andy's next to me. Are you frightened? I'm really scared. I am. Look, look, there's a big skeleton up there, right? We're in this little cart. We're going up a big hill. There's a very, very high chance that I will scream like a girl. What about you? I don't think I'm going to scream like a girl. I will, I'm, I'm frightened. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I can hold it together. Right, we've now got to the top of this thing. We're going round. Here we go. I'm actually getting slightly nervous. I've got those butterflies in my stomach. Some big Frankenstein's gonna jump out. Oh no. Oh, here we go. I think we're going down a dip. We're going down a big dip. Oh. You've got a pint glass. Hold on to that, son. Oh, God. Here, we go. here we go. Oh! Oh my God. 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 Oh, it's too dark. It's too dark. No, no, no. Oh my God. Something's going to jump out of this corner here. Oh my god. Ah! Right, I need to go. I think I'm going to be sick out because I'm really scared after that. Speak to you later. So after Tea in the Park 2009. Romeo. This is in demand.